welcome to the absolute garbage game review of Jurassic Park on the Sega Genesis. What is an absolute garbage game review? You can look at it two ways. It's either a review, a garbage game like Sonic 06 for example, or it could be the quality of the review in which you're about to watch. Or it could be a review of critically acclaimed titles like Resident Evil 4. Oh, and we can highlight some of the garbage aspects of that game. Let's remember, not every game is perfect. Speaking of which, here's Jurassic Park, based off the movie directed by Steven Spielberg. This game follows the film pretty accurately, apart from Alan Grant murdering a Triceratops in the first five seconds of the game! In the movie, we see Alan in awe of the sick Triceratops. In the game, however, he is a crazed dino murdering beast. Forget the Turok games. Alan was the first dinosaur hunter. Technically, he doesn't kill the dinosaurs. He just puts them to sleep. Unless we're talking about the compies in which he can zap them into hell with a stun gun or make them explode with a missile launcher. Alan fights his way through various levels like the jungle, the power station, then the jungle river attraction, which was actually featured in the novel. The rest of the game features more dino killing slash tranquilizing with some really rough platforming and many times where you must make a leap of faith to complete the levels. The T-Rex does make an appearance and she does look great on the Genesis, but I remember thinking how much cooler it would have been if they showed the whole T-Rex running and chasing Grant throughout the level, instead of just its giant head poking through. I do love the hat animation after Grant has been swallowed whole though. Fighting my way through the rest of the levels, killing thousands of dinosaurs. The final level is here. It's notorious for the way you kill the final bosses, being the two raptors in the visitor center. You jump down in between the raptors and you don't shoot them. You lob the firebomb onto the skeletons hanging above them to come crashing down and crushing the raptors. Again, I wish the T-Rex burst through at the end eating the raptors, but I understand why they couldn't do this on the Genesis at the time. I guess the most garbage aspect of the game, however, is there is zero Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Goldblum makes everything better, am I right? Same with Laura Dern. Laura Dern makes everything better, am I right? Wrong. Luckily there's more to the game than just Grant's mode, which can be beaten in under 30 minutes. You can also play as a raptor, which, well, it was a huge deal to me as a kid. I didn't care about the human characters, it was all about those dinosaurs with incredible CGI for its time and practical effects. The raptors cutscene scared the piss out of me as a kid. Watch this. So as we can see, Newman has uh, shut down the security system on the island and the raptor is broken free. He's out there and he's ready to hunt down Alan Grant. In the raptor's way this time, instead of just dinosaurs, there's also the rangers which are armed just like Alan is. As we can see, the most garbage enemy of the game is the freaking platforming. The most painful aspect is the leap of faiths. And I know none of us know how high a raptor could jump but it's definitely not this high. You just jump, kick, or bite your way through the levels that are a bit different to Grant's. They provide a bit more space to show off the raptor's acrobatics. And instead of the first aid boxes that Grant collects, she can either eat a compi to regain health, or the roast turkeys that are conveniently cooked and on the ground. And at the end of each level, you'll see Grant waiting for you, and taunting you as you sprint towards him. When you finally meet him in the showdown in the visitor center, what do you think a raptor should do to kill his nemesis? Bite him? Jump kick him? Claw him to death? No, you must kick the foundations holding up the skeletons. To be fair, the game does hint this in the level's introduction. And that's it. Another garbage boss fight for a garbage game. So now for the final verdict for Jurassic Park on the Sega Genesis. I can't honestly rank this one as absolute garbage because it does have some nice looking sprites, the visitor center theme is a great tune, and you get to play as a dinosaur. Although I love this game in 1993, 
I must say that the platforming sucks and I give it a score of bad. Thanks for watching the first absolute garbage game review. I'm still trying to work out what the next game will be that I review. And whatever it is, I just hope it's not a one big pile of shit.